beer for you guys, but at the same time, I ha we have to move out. How do you deal with cases whereby the victim decides to forgive the perpetrators? When somebody talks to you or you see something like that, that you also encourage them to report, you encourage them to talk about it. This being an election year, we have given an opportunity to women to express themselves and share their opinions during this crucial time in our country's history. Particularly for the women, my prayer is that we shall get more women governors, senators and members of parliament elected to parliament. <laughs> Especially Ukuchini Mashinani. Starting this Sunday, be sure to tune in. So, I got COVID in Lingia Evi. Me at Apostasy or Dizilian. Just as I lay leaping, Ilianza, Juata Vijana or Comta. This Kikubo Irikua, Uyu Haji, a lay um toto. Navagine Badu, Nana Ejiao. Hawezi tulia fienye na tulianga kwa nyumba. Kama mtoto anaisa dhulumiwa, jinsi wanaisa chukua atua, ni kwa sababu wengine ata wajui. I link the community with the justice system. I also uh, 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 create awareness on the referral pathway. Jumapili hii kwenye runinga ya KBC, ungana nae askofu Michael Wanderi wa kanisa la Christian Foundation Fellowship Kiambu kuanzia saa moja hadi saa mbili ya subuhi. Ningataka ni kuambie our Jehovah God because the Bible says he is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. He is able to take you to a place of abundance. He is able to take you to Rehobothi in the name of Jesus Christ. Kipindi ni neno la neema. Ukiletewa nae askofu Michael Wanderi wa kanisa la Christian Foundation Fellowship Kiambu usikose Took me to the cleaners my house now belongs to the bank my business kaput the booze won't make you any better. I expect your resignation letter on my desk by close of day. Failing that, you'll be receiving a termination letter from me tomorrow. Prudence to part rubbish. Please, I, I, I have money. I can pay you whatever you want. Please, let us go. Hey! Let's get out of here before his friends come back. Yes, but just give me a minute. Oh! Twenty-seven, like a twenty-eight. But it's okay, twenty-seven, Cindy. Do I know you? Sure. Women, Come and give your mother a hug. He's humble, or so she says. He comes from a humble background. I mean, what choice does he have? Glenn. We are already a family. As times changes, technologies grow and so you need to be in the know. We are looking into matters, technology and education. We bring you tech news from all over the world. Me, I understand science revolves around life. Tech policies and programs, Take on Tech has your back. Coming to your screens every Saturday at 4.30 p.m. only on KBC Channel 1, 
Join me, Stephanie Ayete, and Grace Gedaiga as we serve you with only the best tech updates the world over. Ili kupata mafuta kupanda kama skiza tun kwenye simu yako bonyeza star 811 star 397 hash e, na sukuru serikali kwa kuongeza bei ya mafuta saini kwa kwa highway na kuna traffic kata kidogo naomba serikali endelee hivyo tubaki tu watu ya gasla na heavy machine peke yake pia mimi naomba huyu serikali waseme kama gari yako ni below 3000 cc gari yako ili kupata kibari. mafuta kupanda kama skiza tune bonyeza star 811 star 397 hash star 811 star 397 hash kuitegea runinga hii ya BBC Channel 1 na kama kawaida tunakutana kwenye darubini tukufahamishe eneo jiri kutoka maeneo tofauti huko nchini jina langu ni Nancy Onyancha jina langu ni Harif Salim hapo mengi tumekuandalia siku ya leo lakini kama kawaida kwanza tupate video the free movement of people goods and service across the community has boosted trade and strengthened people to people ties. Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo yajiunga rasmi na Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Any word that we have listed here is a word that has been used as a tool to rally hate against a group of people. Sipangwingwe na madoa doa ndio orodhesho miongoni mwa maneno yanayodaiwa kuwa ya chuki. maafisa la kimbili unusu wa polisi kupokea mafunzo kuhusu ulimishaji amani wakati wa uchaguzi mkuu Adama nasi mtazamaji hadi tamati mtangazaji wetu ishara hii leo ni Susan Thoko Rais wa Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo Felix Shisikedi leo alitia saini mkataba wa jamhuri hiyo kujiunga rasmi na Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye ndiye mwenyekiti wa kongamano la viongozi wa mataifa na chama wa Jumuiya ya ESC alisema hatua hiyo inatoa fursa ya kupanua biashara na ushirikiano katika kanda hii. Na jinsi Purity Musei wanavyosimulia Jamhuri ya DRC sasa ina muda wa miezi sita kurasimisha mkataba huo ili kukamilisha mchakato wa kujumuishwa kwenye jumuiya ya ESC. Jamhuri ya Kidemokrasia ya Kongo imeanza kufurahia matunda ya Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki ESC baada ya kutiwa saini kwa mkataba wa kujumuisha jamhuri hiyo kwenye Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Hatua ya kutia saini mkataba huo katika ikulu ya Nairobi inafikisha laki tatu jumla ya watu katika soko la Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki ila kuna hatua moja zaidi kabla ya DRC kuwa mwanachama kamili wa Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki The heads of state agreed to formally admit the DRC but for the DRC to join it needs to sign the treaty and we needed to do it quite quickly so that uh, within nine, uh, six months of admission 
they can deposit the instruments of ratification. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye alikaribisha rasmi jamhuri hiyo kwenye jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki alisema hatua hiyo itaboresha uwiano wa kijamii, biashara, usalama, uwekezaji na maslahi ya kiuchumi katika jumuiya hii. We have already begun to realize the promises of the East African community. The free movement of people, goods and service across the community has boosted trade and strengthened people to people ties thus enabling us to harness the comparative strength of each member state for the benefit of all and to confront and solve problems together Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kidemokrasia ya Kongo Felix Eshisekedi amesema hatu ya kujumuisha DRC kwenye jumuiya hiyo ni mwanzo wa mabadiliko makubwa katika sera ya kigeni na kiuchumi ya nchi hiyo Ma présence à cet événement vient consolider et couronner Without a doubt our, our, our will to work for the for the, our people and also with people who are determined to work in a collaborative manner Rais Yoweri Museveni wa Uganda amesisitiza umuhimu wa utangamano akisema unaimarisha ufanisi kwa kuwezesha upatikanaji wa soko pana zaidi la bidhaa na kuboresha usalama wa kanda hii. The way forward is integration. Why market market? Internal within Uganda, regional within East Africa, then Africa, but then you can also negotiate better with the bigger markets outside we just have to get down to do the work that uh, uh, is entailed in the statements we have made to our people of our individual countries as well as the East African community kufuatia kutiwa saini kwa mkataba huo vikwazo vyote visivyo vya ushuru vya usafirishaji wa bidhaa huduma na watu vimeondolewa one of the requirements is to be a border but two you have to negotiate to uh, and, and, and commit to undertake the principles that are enshrined in the treaty purity museo darubini na mnatumia uwiano na mshikamano wa kitaifa imetoa orodha ya maneno ambayo yatazingatiwa kuwa matamshi ya chuki iwapo wanaotumia maneno hayo watachukuliwa hatua ya sheria yani watakaotumia maneno hayo wanachukuliwa hatua za kisheria miongoni mwa maneno yaliyoharamishwa ni watu wa kurusha mawe watajua hawajui madoa doa mende kafir na sipangwingu na mtume NCIC naamini kuwa maneno hayo yanaweza kuhujumu amani Miezi minne kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu wa tarehe 9 Agosti tume ya uwiano na utangamano wa kitaifa NCIC imechapisha orodha ya maneno yaliyopigwa marufuku ambayo yanazingatiwa kuwa yatachochea taharuki ya kikabila As we read out these words we urge you to not look at it with the typical political exuberance but with the soberness Maneno ya Kiingereza yaliyopigwa marufuku ni pamoja na fumigation, eliminate, uncircumcised na kill. Maneno ya Kiswahili yaliyopigwa marufuku ni pamoja na watu wa kurusha mawe, watajua hawajui, madoa doa, mende, kafir, kwekwe miongoni mwa maneno mengine. Maneno ya shenga ambayo hayataruhusiwa kutumika tena ni pamoja na kama noma noma, kama mbaya mbaya, hatupangwingwi na operation linda kura any word that we have listed here is a word that has been used as a tool to rally hit against a group of people we are fully aware that uh, politicians will try to say that we are targeting their slogans but this isn't about slogans Mifumo kadhaa ya mtandao wa kijamii ambaye inazingatiwa na tume hiyo kuwa ndiyo inayoeneza zaidi matamshi ya chuki imetajwa. Miongoni mwa mifumo hiyo ni makongamano ya kisiasa ya Kenya Kwanza Alliance na azimio la umoja Kenya kwenye Facebook huku tume NCIC 
ikikariri kujitolea kwake kufuatilia mtandao wa kijamii ili kuhakikisha uchaguzi wa amani most of the social account that we have mentioned are anonymous but working with the communications authority and with the DCI we are able now to actually get to know who these are even though they appear to be anonymous plus also of course those which are using uh, pseudonyms wakati huo tume hiyo imewatahadharisha wanasiasa dhidi ya kutumia makundi ya boda boda kama magenge ya wahalifu kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu jao those that are now being used by even politicians to become gangs and uh, are being trained and uh, are hired uh, to especially uh, uh, harass uh, and sometimes even uh, attack uh, political opponents this really must stop ben chumba darubini na kimsingi nancy ntsc inasema watakotumia neno miongoni mwa mengine watajua hawajui watajua hawajui watajua <laughs> <laughs> sasa sielewi kwa sababu itakuwa ngumu kutofautisha lugha ya mtaa ndio hivyo alafu ufuatiliaji utakuwa vipi alafu kesi zitakuwa nyingi kotini kwa sababu kuna mm-hmm. baadhi ya maneno ambayo labda yanaweza kuleta mjadala katika mahakama lakini hata tuone utekelezaji wake utakuwa vipi no. so msingi ni kwamba uh, juhudi zinafanywa kuzuia fujo na uchochezi katika uh, uh, uchaguzi huu na kampeni za mwaka 2022. Naam bila shaka na mtazamaji tukielekea kwenye taarifa ambayo imewahangaisha wa Kenya kwa sasa ni kwa mkurugenzi mkuu wa Halmashauri ya Mawasiliano huko nchini Ezra Chiloba amesema picha hazitakiwi kwenye shughuli inayoendelea kusajili upya simu kadi. Chiloba amekariri kwamba usajili huo sio kanuni mpya kwani ulianza mwaka 2015 na kusisitiza kwamba mchakato wa kampuni za mawasiliano ya Rununu zilianza kuboresha na kuyanisha data zao miaka miwili iliyopita. Chiloba amesema kuwa wakati huo hakuna kulegeza kamba na kuwataka wa Kenya wanaomiliki kadi za simu kuzingatia agizo hilo na kusajili kadi zao za simu kabla ya makataa yaliyotolewa sivyo wataka, watakatiwa mawasiliano. Chiloba amewahimiza wa Kenya kutochukulia shughuli hiyo kwa adhabu bali ni mkakati wa kudhibiti usalama katika mawasiliano. Do not anticipate that we are going to take a photograph of you. Okay? So if you are duly registered, you don't need to go to your operator or your service provider to get re-registered. Na ndio kama hivyo, kama ulivyotangulia kusema, mm-hmm. hili swala limekuwa kivumio. Sana. Yaani trend ni kitu ambacho kila mtu anazungumzia sasa hivi watu na maswali chungu zima nafikiri kuna mengi yanafaa kuzungumzwa ili kuweka wazi na uwazi shughuli hii ambayo inataka kutekelezwa kuhusiana na hii uh, ama hili swala la kujisajili upya au uh, kusajili upya nambari za simu ndio taarifa ambayo inatupeleka katika mapumziko ya kwanza ya taarifa zetu mengi zaidi ni baada ya siku mrefu My one message to you is that you should support our new president and our country and give up the good work that you have done so well as to earn the respect that you have. nikakufangusha ujai niangusha lakini niliacha kufangusha kielele ni nini umeleta hapa kwa koti now i'm asking you huyo mtu alikupepa na potapota yuko hapa unaweza mtampua kwa mbele ya mahakama siko mbele yangu iko sura baya hiyo chura sasa usiaseme sura kuliko kusema chura mkiangalia tu vizuri leza pepa kunia kama hii Mimi iko hivi nani kunia? Maswali gani hii wewe? Wewe ndio nakulisa swali, wacha kulisa habana swali. Wewe uko kochama ya potapota. Habana? Very good, habana, toka hapo. Penda. Sasa namna hivi. 
Mama ambaye niliangusha ni mama yako. Si mama yangu. Si mama yako. Ndio. Kwa nini umeleta hiyo uchinga hapa at the same time unasema you will come to be a president of this nation. How? Inaingia namna gani? have a new story to share with KBC get in touch swiftly on email news at kbc.co.ke or call 0723-892-654 or 0734-780-124 Karibu mtazamaji tuendelee kufahamisha mengi kwenye darubini Jumaa hii. Kiongozi wa chama cha ANC Msalimu Davidi ameitaka tume ya IBC kutekeleza wajibu wake ipasavyo na kuhakikisha uchaguzi mkuu jao utakuwa huru na wa haki. Mudavadi amesema tume ya IBC inafaa kuiga mfano wa taasisi nyingine huru kama vile idara ya mahakama ambazo zimesimama kidete katika utekelezaji haki na kudumisha sheria. Chama cha ANC Msalimu Davidi amesema idara ya mahakama Imeonyesha mfano mwema na sasa ni wajibu wa tume huru ya uchaguzi na mipaka IBC kudumisha sheria na kujikinga dhidi ya muingilio wa kisiasa. Mudavadi amesema tume ya IBC ina jukumu la kuhakikishia wakenya uchaguzi wa kuaminika mwezi Agosti. Hata kwa BBI kama wewe unasema wewe uko deep state. Haya, walipigwa bao ya kwanza na high court. Eh? na hiko hiyo mambo ya deep state haya wakaenda kwa court of appeal na hiyo mamlaka yote tena wakapigwa bao ya pili hiyo deep state wakaenda kwa supreme court round hiyo ingine wakabewa dao ya tatu tena na deep state sasa wewe muta na kutisha nini ati deep state deep state mamlaka ya serikali wewe wacha bwana mudavadi alikuwa kikutana na wawaniaji wa viti mbalimbali katika muungano wa Kenya Kwanza Alliance hata moyo alikuwa na ushawishi mkubwa eh yeah. alikuwa president na alikuwa amesukuma uhuru kama project na alikuwa na ushawishi akawa amrejeshi mkuu wa majeshi yote wakati huo lakini wa Kenya wakaamua wanataka kibaki na project ya moyo ika anguko sasa ni vile vile wembe ni ule ule Speaker wa kaunti ya Kiambu Stephen Dicho ameondoa azma yake ya kuwania useneta na kumpa nafasi aliyekuwa mwakilishi wa wadi Karongo wa Dhangwa. The way you are managing contestants we believe is the same way that you are going to manage our country when eventually you take the mantle of being our president for the next five years. It is an indication that in our party UDA we have leaders who are willing to nurture young leadership the party constitution and the nomination rules provide that consensus is an option of arriving at candidates makubaliano hayo yalipatanishwa na naibu rais william ruto mtaani karen gesho kiwashira darubini Alikuwa mwakilishi mwanamke katika kaunti ya Kiambu Anna Nyokabi Gathecha ametangaza rasmi kuwania ugavana kupitia chama cha Jubilee ambapo atamenyana na gavana wa sasa James Nyoro. Wawili hao wanamezea mata kiti cha chama tawala kwenye uteuzi ulioratibiwa kuandaliwa Juma lijalo. Wakati huu uteuzi wa chama cha ODM ulioandaliwa leo huko Malindi ulikubikwa na vurumai huku washiriki wa kilalamikia kucheleweshwa na kusimamishwa kwa utozi huo katika mojawapo ya wadi. Kinyang'anyiro cha kiti cha ugavana katika kaunti ya Kiambu kinaendelea kushika kasi huku aliyekuwa mwakilishi mwanamke wa kaunti hiyo Anne Nyokabi Gathesha akijiunga na orodha ya wale wanaoazimia kutoa kiti hicho kutoka kwa gavana James Nyoro. Nyokabi ambaye analenga kushindania tikiti ya chama cha Jubilee na gavana huyo amesema ataangazia kukabiliana na umaskini na kulipa bili ambazo kaunti hiyo inadaiwa. I do believe that everybody would want a united cohesive or direction that would be able to provide a leadership that uh, 
allows people to be able to move forward to build on to greater heights. Nyokabi amekuwa mwanamke wa nne kugombea kiti cha ugavana wa kaunti hiyo ambacho kimevutia wagombeaji wapatao tisa. We all rise together as a community and that's my goal, that's my aim and I believe that's the leadership that we need at this current time. We've had three male governors. Um, let's try a woman leader. Wakati huo huo, shughuli za uteuzi wa chama cha ODM zilizoandaliwa leo huko Malindi zilikumbwa na rabsha huku baadhi ya wapiga kura wakisikitika kutokana na hali ya kuchelewa kufunguliwa kwa vituo vingi vya kupigia kura katika wadi zote tatu. Baadhi ya waniaji pia wamekanusha madai kuwa bodi ya kitaifa ya uchaguzi wa chama cha ODM imeamua kuwa wawakilishi wote wa wadi wanaohudumu kwa sasa ambao wanatetea viti vyao kwenye chama hicho hawatashirikishwa kwenye shughuli hiyo kama ilikuwa kuna njama yoyote aina yoyote atukubali haya maamuzi ambayo kwamba yamechukuliwa hatukubaliani nayo na hatutakubali na kile ambacho tunataka kuweka wazi ni kwamba tunataka kura ije ground tupige kura sio kuchaguliwa mtu kwenye manyumba hata hivyo shughuli hiyo iliandaliwa bila tatizo katika vituo vya barani na kile cha shule ya msingi ya HGM <tos> lakini kizaza kilishuhudiwa katika kituo cha shule ya msingi ya kwa upanga huku wafuasi wa mgombeaji mmoja wakiwa tuhumu makaraani kwa kuwa na mapendeleo ni swala kidogo ambalo limeleta utata kuna tension kidogo kwa sababu wananchi wanahisi kwamba hili zoezi haliendi na haliendi kiusawa na wanaona kwamba mwisho wa siku labda zile rights zao zitakuwa hazijatimia nikiripotia darubini naitwa Safin Acheng Ouma <tos> na mtazamaji kwenye biashara wataalamu wanaonya kuhusu kupungua kwa mikopo kwa wananchi humo nchini kufuatia mpango wa serikali wa kukopa shilingi bilioni 581.7 kutoka taasisi za kifedha za humo nchini kuziba na kisi ya bajeti ya shilingi bilioni 8.862.5 afisa wa masuala ya ushuru katika kampuni ya Ernest Young Francis Kamau amesema taasisi hizo huenda zikakadiria kutoa mikopo kwa serikali badala ya wenye biashara ndogo ndogo na watu binafsi ambao huenda wakakosa kulipa mikopo hiyo kwa mujibu wa bajeti iliyowasilishwa bungeni hapo jana na kisi iliyoko ya shilingi bilioni 862.5 inatarajiwa kuzibwa kupitia mikopo ya shilingi bilioni 581.7 kutoka kwa benki za humu nchini na shilingi bilioni 280.7 zaidi kutoka kwa taasisi za kifedha za nje wataalamu wanatahadharisha kwamba hatua hiyo huenda ikahatarisha utoaji mikopo kwa watu binafsi na wenye biashara ndogo ndogo any amount of uh, debt that the government picks locally is reduced so that the banks don't rely on basically mopping up any particular amounts they have and take to government for treasury bills and bonds and all that. Kwingineko Benki ya Cooperative imefungua tawiji pia mjini Kabarnet County ya Baringo kwa lengo la kuboresha huduma kwa wafugaji na wananchi wa kawaida. Mkurugenzi wa masuala ya biashara kwenye benki hiyo William Ndumia amewahimiza wakazi hususan wale walioko maeneo ya mbali kukadiria kuhifadhi pesa zao kwenye benki. Livestock is key to us. 45% of our economy is a result of livestock keeping. So we want to help us in ensuring that our farmers understand more of agribusiness because it's a new phenomenon in our society. This area has a lot of potential. We've seen a lot of growth in this area. We've done a lot of research and we've seen the kind of uh, development agenda that has been going on uh, within this area. There's improvement in infrastructure. We've seen a lot of uh, daily happening, a lot of pastoral uh, pastoral community uh, doing a lot of work.
Mwishowe, shughuli za kilimo zimerahisishwa kufuatia uzinduzi wa programu ya simu za runonu ambayo tarahisisha upataji huduma mwafaka. Programu hiyo inatoa huduma kama zile za uhasibu, utabiri wa hali ya hewa na njia rahisi za kupata pembejeo kwa gharama nafuu miongoni mwa nyingine kwa minajili ya kuongezea mapato wa kulima. Programu hiyo inatumika katika mataifa kumi na matatu ya mashariki, magharibi na kusini mwa bara Afrika. Focus on his strength. What is a farmer's strength? Production. But the farmer could be weak at doing other things like sourcing the right service provider or uh, or factors of production. Extension services. I'm very much comfortable the way I am. Very much comfortable the way I am. <laughs> For decades, the society has considered Dolan a mystique, <laughs> whose sense of fashion and personality have remained a mystery to many. I'm a woman, and again, uh, I'm a man, and uh, I can also have my menses just like women. Join Sheila Kayaro Yogo this Saturday on 9th April and this Sunday on 10th April at 9 p.m. as she brings you the story, My Gender Paradox, exclusive to KBC Channel One. Starting this Sunday, the Dada's Show is back, a show where women get to be themselves and discuss real issues told them yes I made a mistake I tried to persevere for you guys but at the same time I ha we have to move out how do you deal with cases whereby the victim decides to forgive the perpetrators when somebody talks to you or you see something like that that you also encourage them to report you encourage them to talk about it this being an election year we have given an opportunity to women to express themselves and share their opinions during this crucial time in our country's history particularly for the women my prayer is that we shall get more women governors senators and members of parliament elected to parliament ule atachaguliwa kama ni mwanamke Starting this Sunday, be sure to tune in. Na timu ya taifa ya Kenya itakayowakilisha taifa hili katika makala 24 ya michezo olimpiki kwa na michezo sio na uwezo wa kusikia nchini Brazil imepewa mwongozo wa kuhakikisha hali bora ya kiafya kabla wakati na baada ya michezo hiyo itakayoandaliwa mwezi Mei mwaka huu timu hiyo kwa sasa imekita kambi katika uwanja wa Kasarani kabla ya kuelekea nchini Brazil kwa michezo hiyo Timu ya taifa ya Kenya itakayoshiriki kwenye michezo ya Olimpiki kwa wanariadha wasiokuwa na uwezo wa kusikia imepewa mwongozo wa kuzungumza punde tu wanapokuwa na matatizo ya kiakili. Daktari Rose Ngondi aliwapa mawaida wana michezo hao wanaokita kambi katika uwanja wa Kasarani kwamba kusalia kimya kunaweza kusababisha maradhi ya akili. Waziri wa michezo Amina Mohamed alisema siku ya Jumatano kwamba kumekuwa na wanariadha wengi wanaopambana na maradhi ya kiakili baada ya kuwapa maelezo kuhusu maradhi aina tofauti ukiwemo msongo wa mawazo daktari Ngondi aliwapa maelezo ya kukabiliana na hali zinazoleta maradhi hayo wana michezo hao pia walipewa mawaidha ya kujikinga na msongo wa mawazo kukubali jinsi vitu vilivyo na kuleta mabadiliko wanariadha walisema kuwa unyanyapa ndio sababu kubwa inayowafanya kukimia na matatizo hayo kwenye michezo hiyo itakayoandaliwa kuanzia tarehe moja hadi tarehe tano mwezi Mei Kenya itaakilishwa katika fani tano riadha kwa wanaume na kina dada soka kina dada mpira wa kikapu kwa wanaume na kina dada mpira wa mikono kwa wanaume na kina dada na gofu kwa wanaume 
na timu ya engineers brigade leo ilifanikiwa kuhifadhi taji lao la mashindano ya mpira wa kikapu ya jeshi la ulinzi baada ya kuilaza timu ya la ekipi ya airbase alama 64 kwa 60 katika mechi ya finali iliyochezwa katika ukumbi wa moy airbase hapa jijini Nairobi mashindano hayo ya siku 4 yalileta pamoja timu kutoka vikosi mbalimbali mbali vya jeshi la ulinzi huko nchini <tos> Mabingwa watetezi Engineers Brigade walihifadhi taji yao katika pambano kali ya fainali dhidi ya timu ya Laikipia ya Airbus. Hii ilikuwa mara ya pili kwa timu hizo mbili kukutana katika mechi ya fainali baada ya kumenyana katika fainali kwenye makala ya mwaka uliopita. Nothing has changed it is still the same same teams that are, have been here but the difference is now the level of competition at least it has gone to a higher level than it was last year. Mashindano hayo ya siku ine alianza tarehe nne mwezi huu katika ukumbi wa kambi ya jeshi ya Moy Airbase mtaani Isli Nairobi. Timu ya Engineers Brigade iliishinda laikipi ya Airbase alama 64 kwa 60 katika mechi ya finali hasa baada ya kushinda robo ya tatu. Timu ya Laikipia Airbase ambayo ina wachezaji wapya walionyesha mchezo wa hali ya juu licha ya kupoteza pamano hilo. We started uh, preparing a month ago for this tournament. This being the biggest tournament uh, for the KDF, uh, we prepared well. We were assisted by our formation to be here. Mashindano hayo yalileta pamoja timu kutoka vikosi mbalimbali vya jeshi la ulinzi. Brigade ya Samuel Kosgei kamanda wa kambi ya jeshi ya Moy Airbase anasema kuna haja ya kuandaa mashindano zaidi kama haya kwani yanasaidia timu ya Ulinzi Warriors kupata wachezaji. Ulinzi Warriors ni timu ya mpira wa kikapu wa KDF ambayo pia inashiriki katika ligi kuu ya mpira wa kikapu humo nchini. Na kocha mkuu wa FC Leopards Patrick Usemza ameelezea kutoridhishwa kwake na hali ya uwanja wa thika kabla mchuano wao dhidi ya Wazito mwishoni mwa Jumaa hili. Leopards inashikilia nafasi ya kumi katika orodha ya ligi kuu ya soka huko nchini kwa alama 31 huku wapinzani wao Wazito wakishikilia nafasi ya 16 alama 11 nyuma. Leo Pazi lionesha mchezo wa kuridhisha ilipoicharaza Police FC mabao matatu kwa bila uwanjani nyao mwishoni mwa Juma lililopita itanuia kuendeleza rekodi ya matokeo mema dhidi ya Wazito inayofunzwa na Fred Ambani kocha wa Leo Pazi Patrick Usems mwenye umri wa miaka sita na aliyejiunga na timu hiyo mwezi Februari mwaka jana amewasihi maafisa wakuu wa timu hiyo kuhifadhi wachezaji walioko kwa sasa Mwenda lango wa kwanza Levis Opio ambaye angali anauguza jeraha ana imani ya kuwa na msimu mwema timuni akisema wachezaji walioko kwa sasa wana uwezo wa kuandikisha matokeo bora. Leo Pads iliwauza wachezaji watatu kufikia sasa Collins Shichenje aliyelekea nchini Uswidi, Marvin na Bwire na Dan Musamali inashikilia nafasi ya kumi kwa alama 31 baada ya kucheza mechi 23. Wakati huo huo kocha msaidizi katika timu ya KCB Godfrey Odor amewasii mashabiki kutulia baada ya timu hiyo kuandikisha matokeo duni KCB inashikilia nafasi ya sita kwa alama 38 alama 14 nyuma ya vinara kaka Mega Homeboys itachuana na Kariobangi Sharks nayo shikilia nafasi ya saba na ambayo pia imekosa kuandikisha matokeo bora katika mechi zake za mwisho mwisho kwenye michuano mingine Tasca itachuana na Gormahia Police itamenyana na Atlanta nzo ya itakabiliana na bandari nayo Ulinzi Stars ikutane na City Stars. mtazamaji kama ilivyo kawaida kabla ya tujakuaga tupate akiba ya maneno. Eh hey, nasi ushaipoteza kitu ukasema ah kitu changu kile nimekipoteza. Mm. Basi sasa ukipoteza kitu wenyewe wanasema hicho kitu si chako. Yeah. Kinachokupotea si chako. Mm. Kwa hiyo wakati mwingine unafaa ushukuru Mungu hususan katika masuala tofauti ya kimo siasa iwapo utapoteza fursa ambayo umeiwania ume sana shukuru Mungu wenyewe anakuambia ukipata unachokiomba shukuru mara moja ukikosa shukuru mara mia moja ujue umeepushwa na nini ndio akiba maneno siku ile inaitwa hard sali. Na bila shaka shukran kwa kutazama darubini Jumaa ya leo inaitwa Nancy Onyancha mtangazaji wetu ishara alikuwa Susan Thuku. Tukutane tena wiki ijayo papa hapa majali.
naenda wapi na hata tujamaliza kufanya budget. Naenda kuangalia baba yangu. Lakini si uliko umeacha. Sasa ndio nimeanza. I wish my family had lost this case. Why? It has brought more divisions in our family than never before. Kuna sukuma na kaugali kadogo kwa chikoni. Tena. Why you calling me on a private line? Of course I know your voice and it's so annoying. Mama yako nimemnyima pesa siku mbili. Anaona mimi si kama kitu. Mama Jen. Hii Jen, mdogo wangu. Jen, are you a witch? <laughs> Utaenda sasa? My family thinks you be witch my brother. Can leave me the message. Tabidi nimemgoja. Lazima nimuone leo. Ndozungumza leo. Sasa kitu utafanya naona hii mkuu hii mkuu ni pandisha chuo niweke hapa chuo Why? Why? Ah, 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 ah,